Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 20, 21, and 22, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Libras. Hello, my Libras. Well, the 23rd is your birthday season, so an early happy birthday to you, okay? Now, uh, this is the weekend reading, so I am using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? I did, you know, uh, July, August, and September, I said I was just going to do one of the longer readings for each of the months. I did do that, and then for October, I have posted my longer readings, but it's from October 1st through the 16th, so please take a look at that. And uh, then I'll, in a couple weeks, I'll finish up the October. Okay, a couple of cards down. Also, too, um, okay. Also, too, please remember, but and thank you to all that have done it, that have liked, shared, and subscribed um, to my channel. It really does help to support the channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Three cards face down, all reversed. So let's see, strong message for my Libras. Let's see what we have. Okay, strength, one, one, new starts for you, new starts. What is it that you need to be strong about? Is it to, is it to actually stop something or is it to begin something? Or is it both? Is it that in, when you begin something, you know, maybe it's a beginning a new behavior, it stops an old behavior? Okay, or so so this is just something I feel like this is this is a um, new paradigm for you, a new a new thought direction for you, a kind of a you know a kind of a recap of like maybe even your whole ye the last year and how did I get to where I'm at and just saying I want a new direction in where I'm going. So this is and this is really strong because as you're you know, astrological year ends and you're about to start your new astrological year, it's kind of really, I really feel that this might be a time of this reflection. It doesn't mean that you're going to go and just verbally, excuse me, but verbally vomit all over people. It doesn't mean that because I really feel that there's going to be some introspection here. There's going to be looking at things that I, that you want to do differently. You know, and it could be, well, you know what, my birthday's coming. I'm another year older. Hey, you know what? We're just a little more experienced than we were, but because we're a little more experienced, I want you know it, it's it's time to think about the things that we want to change in our lives. Okay, so this is Archangel um, Ariel, Archangel Energy card. This is great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. Next card is the Two of Water. Water energy is our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now, after your season will be Scorpio season, but it's emotional and it's also fluid, and it is about relationships. So whatever this is, whatever this is, again, I feel like it, you know, I feel like there's going to be some inner inner strength. And when it says release harsh judgments, it's not so much saying, I don't feel like you're going to be punitive to yourself or to others. It's just kind of that time that it's like no i want things to change and i'm going i'll be gentle as i can to help that change but this is about this is some sort of a relationship i don't feel that it's this i don't feel that it's a tearing apart of a relationship i don't feel you know i just feel that this is this is just kind of like redirecting or reaffirming or maybe setting some ground rules something like that type of thing so this is a relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. So here we have forgiveness and compassion under strength, and then we have forgiveness again. But the thing is, so this is something about you letting think, letting, letting um, the past be the past. I don't know, forgiving the past. You know, again, too. I say, you know, you can, you can, you can let go. You can forgive. Forgiving helps you heal. It helps you get stronger. It helps with your karma. You know, it does do that. It doesn't mean you have to forget the lessons you learned, though. Okay? So let's go on with this last card. This is reversed again. The Queen of Fire. 
fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And this is a very strong card. This is kind of like, you know, after whatever this um, reflective time for you is, you know, this is you basically taking, you know, this is you basically coming out of it in a, in a much, and again, you know, even though we had strength here, this is you coming out of this weekend in a much stronger, um, with stronger resolution, okay? This is, you know, and again, I kind of feel, and again, this, and this is, might be because you're having your birthday coming, and it's those times, you know, it's very reflective, but it's like, oh my gosh, it, this is the only, you know, like, I, this is the only Debbie, whether there be reincarnation or not, you, the only way I'm going to find out about it is to die, <laughs> not going to, you do that though, <laughs> well, I'm going to die one day, but I'm not going to do that too, to prove a point, but this is the only life that Debbie will be going through, so I kind of feel like my Libras, you're saying, this is the only life that, you know, that Libra will be going through, and, you know, and, and, I, and I do feel that there's a lot of realism to this. So it's like, yeah, no, I know that my, my, my life choices have brought me to where I'm at. And, you know, maybe, you know, I understand that. But my, I, can also re, I can also start making some healthier life choices for myself. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you because this is, okay, so, you know, I'd love to say, yes, this is about you getting a new job and you starting over and stuff like that. I just really think you. This is a strong evaluation, reevaluation, evaluation of your life, where you want to go, where you've been, and I, I feel that you, again, my Libras, you are such wonderful planners, and I, you really are. I feel like you re, um, you know, you, you, you putting out your map, mapping out what you want in life, putting out your goals. Okay, so the Queen of Fire is confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence independence and creativity. So this may be a time for you. This weekend may be kind of like that. Um, you know, it may be kind of like that hermit time for you. It might be a good idea if you, you know, take yourself out of necessarily the drama or the, the weekend, the situation, because... You know, um, if you are in it, if you are in it, so say that you're going to some sort of a, you know, family gathering, it's only going to make you more determined to make the changes, okay? Like I said, this may or may not resonate for all of you, but my Libras, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.